drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Penalty coming up here. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetition. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Here's a collision with some authority. And he makes a save on that play. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Johns moves it into the attacking end. Moves it to the middle. And he couldn't handle the pass as he takes a bump in front. Scores! On the man advantage, he put one home. And this is exactly why he spends so much time in practice working on specialty teams. See that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. The Wild have struck quickly, and there's still a relatively clean sheet of ice out there. Yeah, it's early in the first period here, and you can see that they just have that sense of urgency, James. It's almost as if they said, yeah, we know we're in your barn. We're going to come at you right away. A feed out front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Thunderous collision in the corner. San Jose's got the puck. Sends a pass over. Scores! There it is! His first of the season, and look at the smile there! Just a minute between those two goals. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Well, this is frustrating for the goaltender who gets beat down low, and it's all because of a defensive zone turnover. He can't get set to position, and he opens up the bottom half of the net. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. San Jose's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Domi's got it in the offensive zone. Dubnik's gonna hang on for a whistle and Staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of the mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that and makes a nice cover. Minnesota's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Sends it over to Koivu. I'm going to guess that he's going to look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. And now he tries to get it across to Suter. Beautiful saucer pass. The Wild have possession along the boards. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, that's a tough one, Ginger. Along the boards, they don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Oh, had his head down in the corner and got blocked. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Good stop by Dubnik. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it to Granlin. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Slides it quickly to Lariano. Granlin's got it along the wing. The Sharks gain control of it. Graves takes it into the offensive end. Denies him! Big stop by the keeper. 
Well, he's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We've got a 2 0 game here tonight. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Takes the pass. Oh, and a hit. He sacrificed his body to make the play. And he takes the feed. Michael's got the puck. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Battle along the wall. Taken along the wall by Eklund. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. Quick feed down low. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Angles it over to Michael. Here's a chance. And it's off the iron. Minnesota's been working hard and have put forth a strong effort throughout this entire game. And that's the reason they have the lead. They wanted to extend the cushion. But unfortunately, bad luck on their side. Or maybe it, it was good positioning by the goaltender. But nonetheless, it goes off the post and out. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. 2-0 is the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Pollenville's got it against the boards. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Grabbed along the board by Lucic. Loses his balance on the play. Sent into the offensive zone. Takes the feed, moving in. Puck dumped in. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. And he serves it across to Prosser. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Prosser is such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Oh, that's a huge stop by Dubnik. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Pulling the hard hat on. Here we go. You knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting. But what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. You try to get your team going. Sometimes a fight is what happens, and this is exactly it. But the winner is going to the home team. They've got the debris all cleared up off the ice, and both teams step in for the face-off. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Bell. There's a hit, and he's trying to leave everything out there on the ice tonight. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. zone ability, which means he's great at reading those cross-crease chances and shutting them down. It's what makes him such an effective goaltender, guys. Puck picked up by Niskanen. Slides it on over to Kane. Quick pass to Silverberg. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. The Sharks move it ahead. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Kane. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't connect. Here's a pass down low. Crystal! Well, that was put on a tee, and that one-timer was a rocket. Well, he nailed it, didn't he, James? Perfect weight transfer. Beat the 
Coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Lockdown memory lane, then it's time to sign up for a fantasy game. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun fifth week. Larianov's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We've just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Moves it quickly over to Graves. And he takes the pass. Puts it on net. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Big hit. And it's a quick pass to Champion. Sends it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Stopped by the goaltender. How would you like to defend against him? I mean, if he sees an opening, he is going to take it. He's going to beat you every single time. He is so fast, and he makes you pay. Pumps it away in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Niskanen. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Oh, and it goes off his glove. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. And he rings the post. Minnesota's been all over their opponent tonight. They've been dominating in all areas of the game, in particular possession in the offensive zone. This one goes right off of the post. Otherwise, they would have had an even bigger lead in this one. the one to lead the comeback here. He's the captain of this team with an offensive zone faceoff. No better way to create some momentum than get one on the board. Scoops up the puck now. And that's off a stick. Puck scooped up by Gostas Bear. Quick pass to Koivu. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Feeds it on over to Sederlund. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Oh, stepping up in the physicality department here. Well, it's about time, James. This team has been in a roll all game. A reason why they're getting blown out. But they found a way. A little smart club right here with that huge hit. Quick feed to Scandella. Gives up the body for the block. Slides the puck ahead to Bissick. Here we go. One-man rush. And that pass is redirected. 
The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Moves it to Granlin. A point by range. Came up with the save on that play. Blast from the point. No room for that one to get through. Into the corner now. And there's the save. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Moves it around. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Oh, and a smart heads up play. And the puck's booted away. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, Jack. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick 
point, they take control of it. Way too much congestion blocks that. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Minnesota's offense has come to shine here tonight as we look at the score here late in the second. He's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Minnesota's been dominant through two periods of play, James. They have a comfortable lead now, and the coach can look down their bench and say, hey, listen, let's get everyone out there. Let's maintain the energy. Let's finish this off right. Let's bring it home. Pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Hurdles want a big draw on their own end. Sends the pass down low. Moves it to the middle. Takes the blast. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Takes it across the blue line. Break away. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Tries to feed it over to Vlasic. From center, they get into the attacking area. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Answered the call there. From off the wall and onto a stick. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Shot! Can't get it to go. And a solid save on the play there. Knocks the puck loose. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Taken by Kobe. Into the attacking area from the left side. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Forsling. Slides it across to Sedina. Dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Swing and a miss. Easy save by Dubnik. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. San Jose's got possession of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Stern. And now he angles it across to Knizov. To his teammate. Handles the pass. Here they come on the attack. Moves it to Stahl. Picked up by Stern. He says, let's get physical on that play. Moves the puck. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. A chance in front. And that's stopped. Grabs the puck in the corner. Denies it again. And scores. That's how you do it. Leadership to a team. The captain capitalizes. There's multiple layers to this goal. Not only is it tough to bat out of the air, you have to have good sense of timing and hand-eye coordination. But you also have to have an awareness of where that puck is and where you're making contact with it. Because guess what? If it's above the crossbar, this is a no goal. The Wild have continued their 
The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. The Wild have possession along the boards. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. With authority. The backhander, and he scores! Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Close to the finish line now here, Cheryl, but wow, they have really looked dominant. They have, and they've had the killer instinct. Sometimes when you get a healthy lead, you can take the foot off the gas pedal, but they're not. They're going for it right to the end. And the defenders come up with the puck. Nice zone entry on the left side. Serving pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Nashville's up next on the schedule. Tickets still available. Go to the box office, or you can get them online. Minnesota's played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. The Sharks gain possession. The Wild have it now. Here's a short pass to Michael. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a stopping the play and get a better sense of what happened down there. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. Hurdle's really laboring as he leaves the game, James. He's going to make his way down the tunnel with some assistance from the medical staff here because he cannot put any weight on that one leg. Big part of this team, and obviously they are going to have to do without him for the next indefinite period until we get a medical update here. Quick pass to Koivu. Oh, that just sounded painful. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Oh, a spectacular save on the play. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Minnesota's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. San Jose's got the win off that draw. Quick feed to Forsling. Lowers the boom. All alone. Oh, he can't pull the trigger on the play. Well, it's because he skated himself into no man's land, ran out of real estate and gets nothing for it. Thank you, like that one back.
Minnesota's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. Hansis wins possession in the defensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Looks to pass it to Hensus. Uses the force on that hit. Here's a chance in front. Picked off in front. Minnesota's crossed the line and on the attack. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Makes the save. The Wild have it on the attack. And he loses control of the puck. Moves it to champion. And that's intercepted by Pissick. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Sharks gain control of the puck. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get land-basted over and over again. Minnesota's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end. And he slides it quickly to Johns. Michael's looking oh, 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 oh. Well, That's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Wow, well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. The Wild have it in their own zone. And it's a textbook body contact there. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. Cherry on the top between the pipes. He picks up his first shutout of the season in that W. He doesn't get any better than that, the shutout. And look at that. Everyone's giving him stick taps and fist bumps. Some block shots at the end of the game. You know how badly the defenders wanted it for him as well. And that'll do it from this one here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.